All right, how's it going, guys? My name is Trevor, and today we're back for another NBA 2K19 My League Rebuild Challenge, where we have three seasons to rebuild a team, hopefully get them a championship. But before we guys begin, take a listen to this video's sponsor. All right, calling all NBA Live and NBA 2K players. So there's a new way for you guys to earn free currency, and the way to do that is going to speedyco.in, or use my description, my, uh, you know, invitation link in the description below. It's really simple, really easy. Basically, you find these applications, you just download them, or you can fill out surveys, and you earn speedy coins. You can use those coins to check out for gift cards like uh, iTunes, Google Play, Xbox, PSN, all of that good stuff, and then you can use that to redeem in-game currency. On average, it takes about five days, like spending, you know, a few minutes on it, completing surveys to actually be able to get a $10 gift card. So to validate your account, make sure you complete two orders and then you're good to go. You can start earning currency and uh, using it in game. And make sure once again, if you guys want to try it out, use the link in the description below. Thanks and back to the video. Okay, so now that you've listened, if you do want some of your own coins, like I said, in the description below. Before we begin the team, we're going to be doing the Cleveland Cavaliers, by the way. Instagram description if you want to give me a follow. Also, if you guys like this kind of content, please let me know. Subscribe, like, favorite. Let me know how I can improve. Without further ado, I've recorded this already, and then my audio did not record once again. This time, I know for a fact it's recording. So, without further ado, we're actually going to get started with the Cleveland Cavaliers and get this video on the road. Okay, so here we are at the start of the first season. Um, again, it's really annoying that I have to redo this, but it is what it is. At least I know I have, I have an idea of what I want to do. Uh, Clarkson and Thompson, I'm getting rid of them, as well as George Hill and J.R. Smith. Uh, I might look to move Kyle Korver as well. Um, so I'm going to try to maybe mimic what I did in, uh, in my recording, but we'll see. Maybe things will go different. Also, free agency glitched out on me, so... Uh, which is also really annoying. So let's move these two guys maybe for something. Yeah, I'm going to do that trade. Bobby Portis and Omer Ashik uh, add an exception. And there we go. Boom, they got traded. Next trade. All right, so I'm going to be doing this deal. George Hill, Kyle Corporate, Wilson Chandler, and Jared Bayless. Flip them and see ya. All right, so I'm going to be doing this deal. Actually, doing a little bit different. Jared Smith is the second round pick for Boban Marjanovic and Jonathan Motley. So, it can add an exception and continue. There we go. All right, we're going to be doing this deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Get Michael Beasley for one year. Yeah, no other deal that seems better than this. Plus, we'll throw in a second rounder. I'm cool with that. So, I think those are all the trades we're going to be doing. So, let's take a look at what the coach wants to do. Uh, Tyron Liu. We're going to edit these little statistics here. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Colin Sexton, Rodney Hood, Wilson Chandler, Kevin Love, and Boban Marjanovic as our starting five with Bobby Portis, Larry Nance Jr., Michael Beasley, Seti Oseman off the bench. So we have a lot of power forwards, but I don't expect to do that well this season. Probably get our pick, probably move it because, like I said, trades in this game are kind of meh, or at least picks because I'm on PC. So there are really no good draft classes. So without further ado, let's simulate to the end of the first season where hopefully... Well, I don't really know, hopefully. We're just going to see how we do. Alright, so Stephen Curry MVP, Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year, Tyreek Evans, Sixth Man of the Year, Defense Player of the Year, Giannis, Most Improved Aaron Fox, Nick Nurse, Coach of the Year. We went 33 and 45, obviously that's not good enough for the playoffs, I would imagine. Uh, but then again, you really never know with 2K. Uh, no Cleveland Cavaliers here, we'll probably get Colin Sexton on all rookie first team, and we do. 17.6 assists, alright. 41% field, 35% free, 79% the line. Pretty good season for him. Other than that, nothing too great here. Uh, there are the uh, playoff tree. So let's take a look at these standings very, very quickly. Uh, yeah, for the most part, that's what it was. I mean, we weren't really that great, but we weren't the worst team in the league. So probably have like a mid lotto pick. So that's not too bad. Uh, oh, those are playoff stats. I was like, what the heck? So, taking a look at the stand, uh, the player stats, uh, Kevin Love's numbers, not too high. Um, so we might actually look to move him earlier than expected. Michael Beasley, oh, then again, we had so many power forwards. Michael Beasley, Bobby Portis, though, put up really good numbers. Uh, Rodney Hood, alright, so, for the most part, yeah, we have a, we have a big log jam at power forward. Oh my goodness, I think we have six power forwards. Yeah, that can't be a thing, so, <laughs> 
Uh, definitely got to fix that in the off season. So we're going to simulate these playoffs. See who wins the NBA Finals. And it looks like we're going to have a Toronto Golden State. Toronto wins the championship. Not a surprise there as Kawhi Leonard is your Finals MVP. I will see you guys at the start of the first official off season. All right, so we're at the NBA draft. Um, I'm going to maybe look to move a couple of these players. Maybe Seti Ozman in the East pick. Let's see what we can get for that. Get pick 11, Jordan Clarkson. I do not want that. Uh, Rigo Bear and Joe Ingles. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, it doesn't really... Yeah, I don't really see the player I really want to have. So, could I get... What can I get for Kevin Love in the eighth pick? I can get pick three and Marcus Moore. Wow, all right. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. All right. Actually, a couple deals I see here that are very intriguing to me. Um, you know what? We haven't gotten Brandon Ingram yet. So pick eight and Kevin Love for Brandon Ingram. That's a little different. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do this deal with the Lakers. We're going to trade for Brandon Ingram. So Kevin Love is officially gone. We're going to sign whatever rookies that they want to sign. All right. So now we have some cap as well, which is awesome. Um, see what we could do here. Larry Nance, Sam Decker. Yeah, we'll offer them. Hopefully free agency isn't broken here. Uh, looks like we're not going to be getting Kevin Durant. Um, but we'll offer him something and I'm gonna give him a player option see if he wants that yeah he's going he's going back yeah I was I, in the in the original recording I was able to get Kevin Durant training for Ben Simmons um, so it doesn't look like that's gonna happen now um, I'm gonna see if I can get Kyrie maybe Kyrie Irving do you want to come back to Cleveland doesn't look like it uh, any other players here Clay Thompson We'll offer Clay Thompson. Why not? I actually wanted to sign Clay Thompson in the in the actual thing, so we do get Clay Thompson, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let's see if there are any guys we want to. Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna renounce the rights on Kevin Love. Uh, this guy, Michael Beasley, we don't need him. Uh, everybody else, yeah, I guess Bobby Porter. So yeah, I kind of want to keep him. Isaiah Taylor, no. Channing Fry, no. Sam Decker, no. Larry Nance, no. Rodney Hood, uh, eh. Alright, yeah. So there we go, we're gonna do that. See if we can get, can we get Porzingis? Ooh, maybe. Let's see if we can get Porzingis. Chances are Porzingis is gonna go back to the Knicks, yeah. Uh, anybody else here that's interesting? Julius Randle wouldn't be a bad option. I know we have power forwards, but maybe trade him potentially. So there we go, alright. Uh, Bobby Portis, can I sign you? Uh, I have a cap hold on them. Okay, interesting. Come on, Bobby Portis. Yep, we got Bobby Portis. Uh, let's sign. Uh, what's his face? I don't even remember. You know what? I'm just going to make some minimum free agency moves, and I'll see you guys at the start of the next season. All right, so we're at the start of the second season. I know I, you know, I get Clay Thompson a lot, so I want to actually see if I can potentially move Clay Thompson for somebody. Uh, Markel Fultz, okay. I have an option in mind, obviously. I think you guys know who I'm going for, potentially. Oh, I could do that deal. That's actually not a bad deal. Uh, Jimmy Butler, uh, CJ McCollum, Draymond Green, Bradley Beal. Oh, Bradley Beal. Uh, it's different. But I think you know what I'm going for, so I'll see you guys when I have that trade. Okay, so you know what? We're going to be doing this deal. Um, instead, I tried to get Ben Simmons. I couldn't. So I've gotten Clay Thompson, I think, uh, already a couple times. So I haven't had Bradley Beal yet. And we're going to trade for these other two guys and give them a second round pick. So that's fine. I'll take this. This is okay for me. And let's see now what the rotation is going to be looking like. So we're going to have Colin Sexton, Bradley Beal, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, Kostas Kufus, Bobby Portis off the bench with Seti Ozman, Ante Zizic, Michael Beasley. So, um, probably a playoff bound team, but you never know. Uh, we're going to simulate to the end of the second season. I'll see you guys when we are there. So what an absolute disappointment we were. Giannis, this guy, that guy, yeah, all these guys. You see the awards. Um, this is just ridiculous that our team is that bad. Uh, not going to have any... Cleveland Cavalier players most likely yeah no nothing so yep basically we were the worst team in the NBA most likely right 
Let's take these standings. Yeah, we were terrible. We were one of the worst. And I don't even think we have our pick. Take a look at the player stats. Bradley Beal put up some good numbers. So did Colin Sexton. Drew Sandler did his thing. Bobby Portis. I'm trading Brandon Ingram. Uh, he is so bad. I don't understand why. Um, other than that, these are the stats. So... We got a lot of work to do, um, especially since I made the play I made the NBA Finals in the friggin' recording that didn't even record. So absolute joke, and we ended up doing having our worst season ever. I don't really care who wins the finals. I just hope we make the playoffs. Warriors win. I'll see you guys at the third and final offseason. All right, so we're gonna be making this move. We're gonna take Rudy Gobert, um, just because he's so easy to trade for in this game. Get rid of uh, Julius Randle. Let me see if I can make one more trade. Um, could I actually trade Rudy Gobert for someone else, potentially? Can I get Andre Drummond, potentially? Doesn't look like it. I could get Clint Capella, I saw that. Do I want Clint Capella and PJ Tucker? Yes, because... I, you know what? We're gonna do that to be different, and also because we save a slight bit of cash by doing that. Very slight bit, but it's good enough for me. I also could trade PJ Tucker, maybe Bobby Portis for somebody? Uh, I could do Steven Adams, could do Andrew Journey, and there's really no one here that I want. So, all right, so we're going to do that, and I'm going to see you guys at the start of uh, free agency. All right, so at the start of the third and final season, I'm looking at the roster and the rotations that we're going with. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really feeling this team. Colin Sexton, Bradley Beal, Brandon Ingram, Bobby Portis, Clint Capella, Ante Zizic, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Troy Brown Jr., J.R. Smith. All these guys off the bench. I mean, we should be able to make the playoffs, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I hope we make the playoffs. I, I, I do want to make a trade. Possibly, if I can, I'm going to see if I can make a deal. If I can, if not, I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season. Well, fuck Audacity, honestly. I don't even care that I cursed. Just hear the awards if you need to pause them. I, I'm so upset. Like, it's a joke. We had a really good team. I made it to the NBA Finals. I didn't want to give you guys a voice recording. I just didn't want to do it. I'm really sorry about that. But um, if you guys like this video, let me know. I, this video really sucked. I don't even really care about the stats, to be honest. But if you really want to see them, you know, there they are. Of course, injuries, figures. Pause them if you want. That's it for me. I'm really annoyed. I, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, this video is the most disappointing of them all. So, once again, if you want some speedy coins, go down in the description below. Use my invite code. As the Kings, nope, the Bucks win the championship in seven games. Giannis ends into Kumba MVP. So, once again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Eastern Conference team is done. So, now we're going to do Western Conference team in the next video. All right. Peace.